So I'll go with asking Dane, um, where do you think Trevor's going to be able to, what do you think he's going to be able to prove with this season coming up? I think he's going to need to prove that his knee's okay. I think the DUI is a distraction and um, obviously doesn't show good character on his part, mainly with all the decisions, the bad decisions he's made in his career. But I think what NBA scouts and NBA executives are going to be looking for most out of Trevor this, this season is how, how well his knees hold up after the, that ACL tear last, last season. Definitely, yeah, I think it's going to be the biggest part is kind of showing what he could do against the Big Ten Conference. I think one of the biggest gifts for Trevor this year is that he has such a Big Ten Conference, or a tough, excuse me, Big Ten Conference. And that's going to be something where he's going to be able to show whether or not he has what it takes to make it in the professionally. Um, and I think that, you know, playing against the likes of Indiana, Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, they're always tough, but this year they're specifically tough. I will hold on hope and die. Think it's probably, though, benching him, keeping him on the bench throughout. And where do you think he, they're going to need to call on him? To start, I think benching him kind of sends a message. Um, I think it's almost a backhanded message because I think Trevor knows that when the Big Ten, when the Big Ten season really picks up, he'll be back in the lineup. So I think it sends a message that we're not going to accept stuff like this. But then again, to answer your other question, I feel like he will be back in the lineup when they start playing the likes of Michigan State. Maybe as soon as December 31st, I think they play think, Michigan State. I think what worked for Tubby in the non-conference is that starting five that he did roll with with. Elliot Elias and Rodney Williams, Joe Coleman, Austin Hans, and Andre Hans. I think they really seem to pick up some chemistry, and I think that's why it was okay to not have to start Trevor so soon. But I think when we look at it, when we're going up against the likes of Cody Zeller, other big men across across the board in the Big Ten, Elliot Elias just won't cut it, and Trevor will need to step in. Okay, definitely, and I'll finish it off just by saying that I think with – uh, their their new lineup that they or their old lineup excuse me that they're running with with Trevor getting in so it's going to be a new lineup and they're going to have to gel with it um, but I think it's something where you're going to see Trevor does all the things right that Elliot doesn't mm -hmm. um, I mean Elliot is obviously a seven footer Trevor's not uh, he, can get, he can clean up the glass a bit better but Trevor has that mobility and that athleticism to work around some of the big men that Elliot.